Hello, Bright Church, and welcome to another devotional. Today, I wanted to read from Ecclesiastes chapter 2. Solomon here is searching for what it is that is valuable to him. What is it that gives him purpose in his life? And this is what he says. I said in my heart, come now, I will test you with pleasure. Enjoy yourself, but behold, this was also vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad, and of pleasure, what use is it? I searched with my heart how to cheer my body with wine, my heart still guiding me with wisdom and how to lay hold on folly, till I might see what was good for the children of man to do under the heavens during the few days of their life. I think it's very important for us to think about what it is that's valuable to us. Solomon here, he speaks of uh, finding joy or finding something that is good for man and essentially for himself as well. This is important when it comes to trying to explain to others why it is that you do the things that you do. For me, it was particularly relevant when I started uh, having and starting a family and having kids, and I wondered to myself, what is it that I'm trying to pass on? What is valuable to me that I want them to value as well? Because if I can't articulate it, there's no way for me to pass it on to them. Unless they, by some miracle, by some accident, manage to fall or stumble upon the same values. And it's important for me to accentuate those for them as well. And it comes down to essentially looking over your life in several different chunks. Solomon, as he was going through, he said, these are the things that used to at one time bring me joy. These are the things that at one time I valued. And so he went over them and he tried to figure out, well, what is it ultimately that I value? And for yourselves, for myself as well, it, it sometimes involves going through life a chunk at a time, a year or two or five at a time, and figuring out what were the highs and what were the lows. What were the things that brought me joy and things that stole joy away from me? And from there, we're able to figure out what guided me, what motivated me, what kept me going in times of trouble. In quick retrospective, I, I think about the things that were the low points, the negatives that I had to stay away from. A desire to, to have people do things my way. A value that I put on having things done a particular, specific, un, uh, unmalleable, unchangeable way. And in the end, I realized that that value that I had, it, it ended up bringing me worse things than what I had to start with. And it ended up taking me down a wrong path. And the thing is, where our values are uh, oftentimes not able to be um, put into practice in our daily lives. We don't have the vehicle by which those values can become reality, can become impactful in our lives. Solomon, he tried to put those things in action. He had everything at his disposal. For him, anything could be a vehicle for his values. He could have the best wine. He could have the best entertainment. He could have the best comedians if he thought that laughter would bring him joy. And yet he failed at that. Walt Disney, when he established Disneyland, he, he valued cleanliness. And one of the things he wanted to make sure is that there was no trash in the park anywhere. And if you notice, when you walk through, it doesn't look like a typical park. There isn't a stray soda cup in the bushes. There isn't stray napkins on the floor. And you ask yourself, why is that? And that's because he actually set up systems, he set up vehicles that would allow those values to continue beyond his death. The janitors have very specific hours where they work. The janitors have very specific entrances and exits where trash is stored so that the park remains clean. That was one of his values. The thing is, we have to create the same vehicles for our values to manifest in the world. How are you going to pass on the value of Scripture and its memorization and its uh, living it out? How are you going to pass on the value of hospitality, the value of kindness, the, the value of being there for people who are in need? Are you just going to hope that somebody catches on? Or are you doing things actively to, to make sure that that value remains in the world? Jesus gave us a great list on the Sermon on the Mount of the values that he wants believers to have, meekness, kindness. He says that th through those values, we'll inherit the earth, not in, in the sense that we'll own all of it, but we will gain all of it. 
we'll gain everything that the world has to offer, all the good things that God created this world for. But we have to know what it is that we value. As we close out this year, I want you to ask yourself, what is it that you value? And how is it that you actually put it into practice? That those values might not die with you, but continue to live on generation to generation. God bless you and take care.